Hi guys, welcome to part 20 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. I certainly must apologize with you for not having posted anything for more than two weeks, but unluckily for me, the flu hit me well in advance this season. I'm still recovering and maybe you are hearing my voice a little deeper than usual, but it's like this when I have the flu and my lips, nose and eyes are still ravaged by the flu. Certainly not the ideal show to film on camera and so I prefer to postpone this part 20. And in the rare moments when I was not the prey of the fever, I did some minor adjustments, such as adding those 15 more centimeters here towards the outside of the layout to gain some more space for the micro scenes I will need to place in front of the church and in front of uh, this house here. I removed and added some more things. But there is one thing that is still bothering me that has crushed my mind in the rare moments of lucidity. May I switch to the other camera, guys? Thank you. And here I am. Hi, guys. Sorry for my nose and my lips. I am bothered by this section here in front of the chapel precisely the stone walls you have here. I'm not convinced about them, I'm still not convinced about them, even if I've already uh, attached them with some double-sided tape. They are too grey, not precisely the, um, the scene I want to show you there in, the, in this part, I and I'm still missing some trees, obviously. Uh, they are too grey, too dark, and also too rural. This is somehow uh, a city, uh, a village that it tends to go towards the new century, the new adventures of the new centuries. And so maybe it's time to forget some of the rural uh, stone walls I added. If I'm telling you that, it's because obviously I've tried to model something different because Lemax don't give me any better solution for those uh, walls there. I could obviously go with uh, once again some stone walls but instead I decided to change and I will show you what I mean for that. You are maybe also seeing that I've completed some of the section, added some uh, fences in the back in front of the Slater's house, I added my kennel fence there, a couple of trees, not completed the section, but I worked on a more inaccessible part. And maybe you are noticing that this is a new stair, and I will uh, explain you uh, that in some minutes. Obviously a new design also there, but yes, I worked also during the flu uh, when I could, and what else I want to show you, yes, and I'm not satisfied also uh, by the this crane here, not reaching the boats, okay, not reaching the boats, so I also modeled that, inspiring, get, getting inspiration for what I already modeled previously. Um, added some walls here and there, added some, also some little carts there, the candy shop there, the jingle bell there, and the um, pretzel uh, seller, cart seller there. Uh, this one is still not connected to the AC adapters. Those two ones are connected to the to the AC adapter. Also, the uh, street lamps are working right now. Still a big, uh, big uh, amount of work to do. And let me switch to the other camera, guys. Once again, I am passing through as always. I was saying still a big amount of work to do. I've lost. <laughs> 10 days uh, due to the flu, but I can't avoid 
it. I couldn't avoid it. So let me show you something in interesting, at least for me. I hope it will be interesting also for you. Good. During the intro of this part 20, I just told you that I'm not satisfied with the stone walls I used to delimitate the park in front of the uh, chapel from the rest of the free space. And I also told you why, because they are too dark, uh, too grey, too monochromatic, too rural. And uh, let's try to explain what I did instead. Those are the uh, stone walls. They are inside this standard packaging, item 93304 from Limax or Lemax 1999. They are called Colonial Stone Walls. And they are used by many, 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 many <laughs> Christmas villagers around the world because they are absolutely useful if you have a cabin in the middle of the wood or a farm but not in plain middle of a, um, of a village, of a city, I think at least. So here comes the package with some straight ones, some columns and some curved, some curved ones that you can manage to adjust uh, to adjust them and make whatever you want okay with them you can do straight or you can do also some little curve it like this or like that in order to place uh, maybe a, a park bench inside so those are gray with some white on top they are poly resin obviously they are plastic but they are too grey, guys, and too rural, too not village, not city. And this was bothering me, for, this has been bothering me for many days uh, during my flu, during my flu, my 2023 um, flu, and I decided, no, I need to change them. So I measure them. They are almost three centimeters tall. They are 2.5 centimeters tall. This is 9.9 centimeters wide. And those are uh, circular. So not almost, uh, not a perfect circle. But this is a 90 degree angle. Okay, from here to there, you can, go, you can see that here it is from there to there 90 degrees so you can manage and do something and this is a little too short for me the radius is a little too short i needed something bigger so what i modeled because i wanted something different and limax or lemax doesn't have them on catalog i, I haven't seen them recently on catalog instead let me go, even if it is very dirty with the black. I modeled this little piece there. First, first I modeled this piece there. And this piece is nothing else than a edge, guys. It is a edge, and you can see that I have added some base, some uh, brick base and then some uh, edges, mm, not row edges, maybe maybe some row edges, but this is uh, city edges. I've took uh, uh, the model I used last season for my uh, scriptorium level and modified it a little. This is more straight and more vertical, etc. Hope you can see the lips inside. Uh, hope you can see everything from every angle, okay? But uh, this, all, this is uh, a hedge row. Almost the same dimension, as you can see. I try to go almost the same dimension. A little taller, because I, I modeled 2.7, 2.8. Uh, it is a little taller, as you can see. 
this is 2.5, 2.4, 2.5, this is 2.7 centimeters, 2.7, so 0 0.2 centimeters, 2 millimeters taller, but the length is similar. This one was 9.7, 9.8, this is 9.6 centimeters. So I tried the same dimension to go with the same dimension. And then, and then I also model it because here I have some straight, here I have some curved, also some curved ones that those two are 90 degrees. If you can see that straight vertical, if I place these along this line here, it is vertical and this is horizontal. So 90 degrees, but with a bigger radius, guys like that so longer with a, a bigger radius i can place a park bench inside here with no problems here i cannot place a park bench and uh, i will go there uh, you want to see a park bench i forgot the park bench coming right now good here i have some standard uh, park benches that here you can use them okay but here you cannot use them on those curved section there because they don't fit there but here you can go with a standard park bench and even in the curved section you can add a park bench like that so it was time I modeled something useful and even uh, this one, sorry, they, are dif they have different colors because I used two different printers to print them with two different uh, filament brands, okay? This one too is based on some uh, edges, so some edge rows, etc. But I told myself, mm -hmm. Here I have some straight and some curved and then some columns. Do I need some columns? No, I don't need some columns because this is good enough. So I will use them and see the result. I haven't tested them. I've just printed them, primed them and then painted them, guys. Here you have the unpainted one. Here you have the painted one. Okay, guys. So. I've used some prime, prime, oh sorry, then two shades of green, dark and light green for the edges, and then some white, and then some gray and some uh, maroon, something like maroon, something like bricks for the uh, bricks uh, there, okay, on top of them, uh, on the bottom of them, sorry guys. And with the curved section, you obtain this effect here guys okay you can have the one the curved one and the other one all painted differently because uh, I paint them not uh, uh, not with the airbrush but uh, with the uh, not with uh, the airbrush but with the uh, standard brushes but I also told myself hmm, I need something else something more uh, city-like and not rural yes guy I needed some angles like that one some something that can go like that and make the difference okay so straight curved 90 degrees with a pure 90 degrees angle this is 90 degrees but similar. this is 90 degrees pure 90 degrees angle corner okay and the spaces in between help me getting those uh, with certain harmony okay and always painted them and uh, in the next minutes i will show you the result and i hope it can um, it can um, they be a good placement for those stone walls here i think so because if I place some, uh, if I place some uh, park benches that are brown, that are darker in front of something that is uh, green, I get a good effect. Green and then white, 
uh, it's winter so snow and some icy leaves and uh, edge rows or edges don't lose the leaves in winter they are made uh, they are um, uh, evergreen uh, vegetation they are evergreen vegetation so they don't lose um, the leaves during the winter and this is good I think that's why I modeled some uh, hedges and not some trees or something like that or some walls the walls can't be green yes you can paint them green but not exactly there so this is my version my uh, replacement my alternative to those uh, stone walls there let me show you what i intend with that Look what I have here, guys, the big giant medieval crane that until some weeks ago I needed, I wanted on top of the docks section in order to allow dockers to load and unload the goods on the ships, on the boats down below. This, need, this is meant to be on the edge of the coastline and the arm is long enough to reach the boats that are uh, down below there on the docks and uh, this is based on a real medieval crane pure wood medieval crane rotating on this axe and then man powered some people some slaves maybe um, use this big wheel to go counterclockwise or clockwise and allow the rope to go down or up allowing this to work it is an effective way of using a crane but the model here with this uh, uh, giant engine that is an, um, a human engine a human powered engine it is at 90 degrees uh, from the main crane axis that is this one okay so at 90 degrees in the back you get the big giant wheel that prevent the camera to see what is behind the screen and maybe it is a little too big but it is effective and i love the, this design so i obviously uh, took inspiration from this design that <laughs> I found on the book as I told you and then I modeled this other crane guys 
so two legs here two legs here the same two legs here two legs here triangle here and triangle there so the base is almost the same okay this is a little shorter a little narrower uh, but the arm the arm there this is the arm as maybe a, it is maybe a little longer than the previous one so this will allow uh, the goods to be loaded and unloaded on the boats it is still man powered and you have a winch with a pulley a giant pulley on which the um, and these uh, handles are used to action on the on the pulley as a winch and get the rope rolled or unrolled and the rope can go the up and down so this is a pure wood almost the same design a little shorter not having anything in the back to prevent the camera to see what is behind and behind this crane here will be the um, the the park in front of the chapel so this is not preventing too much to see what is behind the section and it is functional as this one you can see that uh, the main axis is this one so the arm is this one from the old one the arm was eight centimeters and the arm here is even longer it is nine centimeters so i went one more centimeters used some less triangles because this one had a big triangle here another here but it was unbalanced as these this is too long okay but this can um, load and unload heavier ch heavier charges heavier uh, goods because the leverage is longer this one is not as powerful as this one but it can be used to load and unload the goods from the boats uh, maybe this as a third of the power of lifting weights of this one of the old one but this is also effective the height here it is five centimeters to the handles there so uh, a good eight a good proportion with the figurines that will reach this point here okay and this is the new uh, crane i will be using on the um, on the dock section rope and then metal i painted these brown then dark dark brown then light brown then some duff for the ropes here on the handles and here and some heavy blue with some black and some iridescent silver to simulate some metals for the hook for the uh, smaller pulleys and for the handles and then some iridescent silver for the um, for the connection of the different parts <coughs> simulating some iron or some steel but I think iron uh, not steel at that time but iron okay so this is the crane now let me recap uh, my ways of doing walls guys because I haven't recap anything like that during this uh, 2023 season here I have my standard uh, nine millimeter stick uh, extruded styrofoam okay uh, very uh, I'm, I'm in love with his styrofoam here if I want to make a wall i can use them like that and then paint obviously but it's not uh, it's not uh, suited for that simply painting too flat to to not pattern it okay if i went this way guys let me go with 
uh, let me go there uh, one centimeters very quickly done and one each centimeters and then let me go here one two three and four and then I will go with a small section okay a very small part I can go with some walls like that very regular okay like that and then I can go with some um, with some bricks there so this is a seven so I can go with one here then two then one then two like that okay short long short long then I can go with here two uh, two there and then one in the middle then another one here then another one there okay let me go like that and then here and then here then here then <clears throat> here and there then there then there then there okay very quickly done and then you can use your pencil or your pen or whatever you want and to make it a little more defined okay and you can have a wall like that very quickly done okay if you want you can use some uh, hot knife some hot pointy knife to carve into but with styrofoam you don't need with extreme styrofoam you don't need that with uh, expanded styrofoam maybe yes but with with extruded styrofoam like this one you see need a pencil. and you get yes a flat wall but with some bricks inside with some pattern and this is more interesting then you simply need to do a black wash 60% or 70% of water and 30% of acrylic black paint <coughs> Uh, lighter with lighter and lighter colors uh, the last one will be the white one and you can have the wall made like this but instead you can also use and I will show you the result here some different sized bricks always in this, this one too in styrofoam okay but with different thickness and different shapes here i have some uh, small rocks because i once i uh, cut uh, the bricks that are two by one centimeters they are too sharp and uh, the corners are too sharp and so i place all my uh, handmade bricks inside this box i close it and then i mix like that and the stones will ruin will damage a little the bricks making them more realistic so here i have some of them and i don't have much left because i used them in the past days uh, but let me go like that and i will get a cutter uh, if i start a wall like that okay and i will use one here then i will use this one here so i will go with one long one short like that then once again one long you should use a, a brush for the glue but instead i'm going that way then once again one short
like that. Uh, I forgot some tweezers to place. It's better to use some tweeter, tweezers, maybe like that. Okay. Then the next one, you start with a short one. And this is PVC glue, guys. So don't worry to be to be attacked by the glue. So and then one long. Okay. And the one short, but with the bigger, with the thickness. Let me go. Maybe with this one. Okay, like that. It is longer to achieve but the result guys is way more effective like that okay and I will stop here and <clears throat> if I approach the camera obviously I'm working very quickly right now so you can see that if this wall is effective but absolutely flat, this one here is not flat and has different eight because the bricks are made from different thickness species of styrofoam like that. And this is more realistic for a Victorian era village, having some uh, walls made from different thickness of, with, with bricks having different thickness. This is more realistic. I've used it many times last season, this technique, never talk about this during this season. <clears throat> Why I prefer this one? Because you can achieve some sort of this result here. Don't worry, I will explain everything. This result here with the walls, with the wall, this one is the only wall that will be visible, so I use it only this wall here, having different thickness. And this way, the white, when you go with the final dry brush, white dry brush, you catch only the more um, protruding uh, bricks and this gives more realistic effects. I went with black wash, then three shades of grey, then white for this one and you achieve this result. I didn't want some very fancy stairs. Why I went this way? Because uh, many weeks ago, many parts ago, I wanted these as the stairs the corner behind Anubis, uh, allowing people to get access to the, to the next level using these strange rounded um, uh, steps stairs. Yes, but not that well effective. So I replaced it and now it is on the layout. This one is the one I will be using to access uh, the windmill uh, level from the carnival uh, level, from the, from the carnival section in the corner where I added the 15 more centimeters of depth. But this one lacked the balusters this one is no more lacking the balusters and let me explain for the carnival section i've modeled this baluster here in different types in different uh, types like that with some columns and those are 
very tall balusters and very fat elements very fat elements that goes well with the columns like that and so on okay and from this side too that they go very well with these but these is too massive for uh, a stairs good looking yes but too massive and and those are flat and the stairs need to go up and up and up so model it instead taking for this model here as inspiration because i already modeled this but instead i went shorter half th three millimeters shorter uh, it is like that sorry guys with the shape almost the same but the elements the uh, balusters are um, narrower are slimmer as are, are slim in compared to those one and let me approach the camera a little more so these are more space between the elements and the elements are very fat those one have and they are made um, uh, little cylinder and then this shape here then another little cylinder those are made little cylinder uh, cone and a piece of a sphere and then a cone and then another piece of a cone and then uh, um, another uh, cylinder so almost the same design not that different but somehow different and you can use them on a flat surface but if you want to go up you can also have elements getting up like that and let me show you why i, I modeled this so those elements are um, one centimeters yes are one centimeters eight and one centimeters point four uh, deep okay this way i can use them like that and if you go like that you will have on top of the stairs this element here and sorry i forgot the other element and then each element for each step will go like that so step step flat top of the stairs step 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 and so on and they can be connected this way i am improving what i modeled the last season with the just simply an element or also with the big uh, rounded uh, pink stairs that were using that they are using those elements here that they are they are the same elements used in these uh, balusters here but i went with some cutting the top at 45 degrees or between 30 and 45 degrees in order to have each element placed on the step and then a big baluster on top of it but in this way if I don't have curved stairs, this is only for straight stairs, I don't have any more, I will not have any more problems placing the elements completely vertical and then angling them. You simply need to join each set, each element uh, to the next one to get completed balusters. And that is the solution I went uh i went with the stairs maybe getting the flu and having the fever is a good thing no i'm exaggerating so here i have element two balusters element four uh, balusters element and then two and i've also modeled some um, i don't know if i have it there but here you can see that I also modeled a, a corner one, a 90 degree corner one. So from the top, the view is like that. So step element, step elements, 
uh, and they are they have connected with the double side of the tape so you can adjust them uh, whatever you want okay uh, and then once they are placed you can place some glue and then repaint them okay but this way like that so double sided tape uh, step element step element so on on you arrive on the top and you get continuity to the stairs uh, i just needed to do bigger stay steps so i haven't used as usual these nine millimeters thick styrofoam to make the steps because they will not fit. I modeled some, no, I cut it. This is styrofoam and I cut it some uh, 1.2 millimeter, 1.25, so almost 1.3 millimeters. And then the depth also is 1.2 and a half millimeters, so one point, almost 1.3 millimeters in order to have the same design and the same height and having the continuity. This means having uh, taller steps, not precisely exactly the same scale of the figurines, but in this way I am able to go up uh, 13.5 cent centimeters in just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten steps plus the platform. And then I've, um, I've ended the, the balusters here because this is not on a flat surface, this is on an angle. So here I have part of a wall and I will show you the result. And in, in the middle you can have a figurine getting up and down. So wall here, wall here, brick wall here and brick wall here. This is... Uh, modification of what I started with this season, what I continued uh, with the baluster, single balusters, and then a reshaped one uh, with smaller space, they are uh, shorter, but also I think in harmony with the rest. And I made this one to access the windmill section, the one that will be replacing the uh, stairs uh, behind Anubis and then uh, a couple of stairs that I will show you during the final recap and this is a stairs, a new type of stairs maybe not uh, crazy as my standard <laughs> stairs uh, common stairs, uh, very simple stairs with some balusters, but it gets the result. And those are not stairs uh, <clears throat> in front of everything, and not uh, used to attract the attention of the viewer, but only to be functional as a stairs is. Many weeks ago, I told you that Limax slash Femax doesn't have on catalog a uh, very large variety of uh, seated figurines and this is a pity because uh, on a city, on a village they are important and I don't know why they put on the market some park benches if they don't have uh, and they have different <laughs> type of park benches on catalog and I don't know why they don't provide also figurines to be seated. Yes, they make some already seated figurines on some bigger uh, park benches. But an empty park bench loses uh, functionality if you don't have anyone seated on top of it. That's why I decided uh, to model also some um, seated figurines. And I will show you three of them two still unpainted and I will rush next week to paint to do a big work, a big job. This one is the first one and you can see that I modeled it to be placed on the Lamax park benches. Yeah. And oops, sorry. And this is a doctor like that with a bowler head, a mustache, uh, 
um, a bow tie etc and his, uh, his bag okay? and it fits on top of it very simple dawn a little shorter than the rest of the image because the seated figurines are just for a background not participating in any movement then <clears throat> i went also a little crazy and maybe you will recognize immediately it at least the ones from the us you will recognize him okay let me place him like that and approach have you recognized him Yes, I'm uh, I'm I'm a retic line right now. I'm a little blaspheme, but I modeled it following one of the most famous and okay guys, it is Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, uh, president of the United States during the um, the North and South War, uh, assassinated for for this reason, etc. And yes, I maybe I'm exaggerating right now, but this is Abraham Lincoln, President Abraham Lincoln, and it fits with his cane and his um, top hat on the park bench also. It's an homage, it's not something to make fun of it, but in some village why not having also a victorian time <coughs> <coughs> sorry during victorian times also some very famous uh, uh, very important people such as abraham lincoln that maybe was not president during uh, 80 30 maybe 80 40 80 60 yes but come on it it could happen. So this is Abraham Lincoln, and we, you will see him added to my to the rest of my figurines. But the one I painted, I've also told you, I have plenty of row boats, but not rower on them. So this is finished, guys. Still needed to add something on the boat, but this is a rowing boat, uh, the one you have seen three or four months ago with a sailor with uh, uh, trying to start and getting the uh, everything set in before uh, starting and this one too it is a seated so I modeled a different I'm I, I've started and this one sorry it is a little bigger than the rest because this is in movement okay and I started from the same seated model and then modified the head, modified the pose, modified everything. And this one has, is, uh, uh, is a sailor protected. And why I've used this uh, way of uh, having some sort of um, strange hat? Because Viking village, yes, but also. Uh, docks also, uh, harbor, and maybe sailors from all around the world. And this is maybe a little too Indian, okay? But also uh, India was a colony, was a Victorian colony. So maybe this is a sailor uh, on board of some uh, boat, of some ship coming from um, the from India. Okay guys, and that's why I use it and I will place these on the layout. Final recap of part 20 of the 2023 series and here is a close-up of the freshly modified park in front of the chapel there and the result with the uh, edges and a couple of the new trees I modeled in pair with the edges 
having almost the same team there bricks on the uh, on the bottom there some green then the uh, um, the trees I still needed to be fixed with some double sided tape then I also added the wish well in between them I don't know if this will be the final solution but maybe yes I think with the background like that green instead of grey everything you place in front of it it's uh, good looking everything and it's not more rural and also those little squared entrance there um, they are just saying come on I argue in the park there and so I've added those three I wasn't uh, sure about the trees those ones there or the new ones but if I want to have some park benches some park benches sorry uh, under on under some uh, shadow during the uh, heat of the summer those are taller uh, trees instead of those one that are a little shorter but they are useful for what they need um, mr Abraham Lincoln is there waiting to be painted and maybe I will also remove the base of the trees there I will remove the base because I don't like very much them uh, for that tree there I could hide it but now they they make me use some big amount of snow to cover the base or I should uh, dig some holes into the styrofoam to place them but uh, as the trees are always the one of the last things I add to my village uh, once the, um, the cobblestones, uh, pr the printed cobblestones are already in place I don't... Uh, <clears throat> I never did so but I'm thinking about doing that and I don't know what you think about this new tree it is uh, uh, also uh, evergreen uh, trees uh, like uh, cypress but more fat than a cypress and so it never lose the leaves during the winter the wish well maybe I will add something more some uh, maybe some kids playing with uh, snowballs etc the crane there guys here is the look of the new crane and from the top you can see that the crane is reaching uh, the boat easily so no more problem and if I place myself as a camera like that moving around moving from one side you can get the view of the park there and also from the other side you don't have the wheel anymore the 90 degrees wheel uh, in the back of the crane so now you can see uh, behind the crane and uh, the the park benches are visible even from the distance guys um, am i satisfied with this new solution maybe yes maybe not uh, up to you to judge if this is a better solution for the park there with some new design and uh, geometry there and different colors from the uh, cloister gardens but I wanted them like that uh, let me show you what I meant there with the cart there I added the jingle bell cart here as always still need to place some um, some cobblestones here but i left that for the laser things maybe some trees and with these street lamp there i can also get some lights down there into this section that was completely in the dark as you have seen uh, in part 19. there still to continue but now i have access to the remaining parts and i can easily access to them here is the little stairs I added uh, with the and the sample you have seen me showing you some minutes ago 
then the cart also there the candy shop cart okay you can see it even from this point of view there okay guys uh, it is the candy it is uh, connected to the AC adapter so no problem at all having uh, it uh, mm, ready for when this village will be finished guys here nothing changed yes the boat guys one of the boats and uh, i could have simply placed the boats on top of the water but i don't like having them like that so i used some more um, melted glycerin and i've added some waves bumping into the uh, into the rowing boats here okay guys and then also here in plain middle guys hello to the laundry and this is a closer look to the boat i I added there some of the oops maybe I should go a little closer maybe like that okay and the waves also here bumping into the boat it gives more realistic effects also there some water crashing onto the side of the rowing boat and this is better at least for me um, instead of having just the boat positioned on top of the water it has a flat uh, bottom so it could fit there but in this way i also inclined a little more towards the side as if it was shaken by the waves and this is the result mm, maybe not the ideal position for the sailor there but it is like and that okay uh, and the boat is getting against the the waves and this one too it is a park at there but here also you have seen me adding some uh, glycerin now the boats are completely steady this one too it is completely steady and movable <laughs> yes if i apply some more force i can uh, pick it up but then i will ruin everything the only thing that is still movable is the little bar maybe i will add something more there but those are little details for the last minute adjustments uh, and from from the higher top of view this is this is the point of view of from a higher level and from the front you can see the sailor there and you can also see the big giant statue head and then also from this side the pretzel cart uh, cart is there pretzel yeah pretzel and it is there waiting to be connected and also i removed the, the teddy bear boot from there because i wanted to place the tree i made uh, there on against the um, the balusters there against the and rails and balusters so still needed to carve some space and then the space i added in front here sorry guys uh, i just realized that during the intro i've uh, called this one a church and then this one a house but this is not the church this is the the elementary school uh, no cross at all on top of this building so this is the the school and i needed these 15 more centimeters there i added here to get some space i can either go a little more towards the back but not right now because otherwise the buildings were like that we just limited the space here in front of the two buildings even this one was there with limited space but now i can create some big uh, micro scenes especially here with some trees uh, etc 
and yes still modifying my layout guys but here i have some big space and uh, maybe nothing uh, under the uh, outer balloon in there i also added guys and i haven't mentioned it these uh, ornament the cart there because these two i love it these two even if the sign there is a little damaged uh, i still haven't had the time to reprint but i can always reprint it and this is pure porcelain so it is rare to have these not made with resin but with the pure porcelain and this is porcelain not the tree on top but this is porcelain and the stairs guys the stairs you have just seen me uh, talking about and it will go there and you will understand right now why i have just some uh, and rates and balusters just to this point here because this will go against the wall so don't need to have the balusters getting up 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 here i will have some straight balusters getting there maybe the same as those little ones there or maybe the canal fences i haven't decided yet but this is how i want to get access to the uh, windmill level because here i have the windmill level the lake that i set the pond there with the skate uh, and the sled rentals there last season this was called location de ski etc and it was in French. I printed, I used uh, Illustrator to add some new writings in English. Repairs there and skate and sleds. But this is uh, the original one I bought maybe eight or nine years ago from a local store, a little local store. It is not that good, that well designed but it is like that I still have some pieces that I love so here I will have some scenes I will have some musician also and I still need to add some more styrofoam here to allow the continuity to get here to the um, bistro and uh, to uh, Nutcracker toy factory uh, sorry guys a little problem with the camera so here it is almost uh, complete still needed to add uh, some more figurines to this scene there but uh, I used uh, some more uh, Lemax uh, uh, or Limax uh, walls stone walls but those are less rural and more let me call them more um, Eastern more Chinese because this is very Chinese as a model but it is suited also for that I still need to add some more items to the uh, Santa's uh, level there and in front there oh yes Anubis still there I didn't have the time to place it uh, behind the clown there the clown there but you can see that also these stairs here and from the side too you have the same configuration and one big stairs there and on top one little stairs so uh, i am obsessed with having all the levels accessible from everywhere so from this side from the stairs you can access this level then continuity then you can climb down this level then climb up the other level getting towards the slaters that it is almost complete still missing some figurines but also almost complete and then the rest of the stairs you have just seen the rest of the stairs so every level is accessible this one here the sea the um, uh, Viking fishing village is accessible through the stairs there and this dock section is accessible there but you don't have you don't have continuity from this side here to this one but you have some boats and you can access I wanted to get something uh, separated the uh, living quarters there let me call them the living quarters because you have uh, houses 
from the main docks there this is need to be separated still having problems so i was saying uh, continuity from this to this is assured by uh, boats by rowing boats and not by uh, stairs or um, or bridges or anything like that and so these you can access the rest and imagine that here you can you will have also more sea because in front of here you have more sea more water I couldn't add some more water and obviously I will remove the hot air balloon from there I still need to work a little bit what else uh, I started painting the cathedral and I finally um, painted also all the rest of the uh, of those fences there on top of there so I have plenty of them ready cathedral the inside is painted but not the outside yes almost there guys almost there maybe for part 21 it will be finished maybe I will jump to my final video of the season um, instead of having a part 21 because uh, I've already shown you all the main techniques I will be using um, but I don't know maybe I will uh, find out something else to build etc and so we'll show you so so maybe there will be a part of 21 maybe no part of 21 and just my final video and next week will be December so it's time to finish and there not enough vegetation in the cave there not the cave in the big cave under the mountain and we probably add some more vegetation as usual yes one last thing the carrier's cafe that i know i still need to uh, post the uh, full review i've just uh, uh, filmed the last parts the unboxing i've already done the unboxing and uh, last thing was to um, to do the uh, final review but what it is bothering me guys let me show you i've, I've already told you that i hate when lemax do such things let me get some standard eight figurines and let me place it in front of the Carolers Cafe like that you see this is not a dwarf Carolers Cafe guys the Carolers are too small the inside is not bothering me because they are seated but in front come on not dimensioned correctly I've already told you and so I bought a replacement for those carolers. Maybe I will modify that and show you how to modify uh, that carolers cafe. It is a pity, but because it is a, a new building from a new building from 2023 collection. But honestly, I can't stand it. I can't stand it like that, guys. Look not the correct scale for the carolers i don't know why they do such errors such mistakes they that give that make i don't know i don't even know yes i'm getting crazy i'm completely blinded by fury right now so guys see you for the outro maybe it is not that bad to get ravaged by the flu if it allows me to improve a section of the layout I wasn't satisfied with. Ooh la la, excuse me, please, pardon me, please, forgive me. First of all, because it's up to you to judge if that is a real improvement, but mainly because getting the flu is always among the worst things you can face. Especially at my age, when you are old and grey and full of sleep and nodding down beside the fire. Stop! 
Sorry, guys, maybe I'm prey of the fever, still prey of the fever. That was some remembrance of my high school years when I assisted at some English poetry lectures, old ancient prehistoric times. Right now, I don't know if it is the case uh, to post a part 21, especially because I simply need to complete what I have here, all the tasks I have here are still open, and I don't have uh, right now any new techniques, any new things to show to you for the moment. Maybe I will find something new to complete the free spots there, and then a part 21 will be posted otherwise directly my 2023 final video but don't worry i have still plenty of things to post a couple of reviews then also i will ask uh, for your kindness and if you want to uh, share with me your videos i will organize crazy idea 2023 uh, otherwise it is called uh, Christmas of Villages from the World 2023 edition uh, to, to post on the 24th of December, maybe the Christmas day. But we will have time to discuss about it in the next days. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English. And maybe, but it's up to me, not to you, this time, see you for part 21 or for the final video. Bye, guys.